most tales concerning the American frontier emerged on the silver screen. Hollywood interpretations of ranchers, Native Americans, shootouts, and bandits depict an idealized rendition of what individuals perceive life was like in the Old West, because the notion of a tough frontiersman who upheld law and order with his peacemaker brought in box office riches. The veracity is that Hollywood deceived you. In actuality, existence in the Old West played out much differently from the predictable scenarios witnessed in numerous classic spaghetti westerns. In truth, the well-groomed ranchers depicted by performers like John Wayne are a considerable departure from what ranchers truly were like or how they genuinely existed. While it's accurate that life in America's Old West was rugged and unforgiving, shaped as such by the wild terrain and absence of luxuries, Hollywood's portrayals of mass homicides, daily gun duels, heroic ranchers, and fierce Native Americans are nothing but an embellished rendition of the perilous events historical American frontiersmen genuinely encountered in their everyday lives on the border. Before viewing another Clint Eastwood movie filled with anachronisms of the Wild West, it's moment to dismantle the misunderstandings about the Old West that the silver screen has conveyed and grasped some astounding, accurate Wild West realities. Discover these misconceptions you've always harbored about the Wild West that are completely inaccurate. Number one, the Wild West wasn't that wild. When picturing the Wild West, one may imagine gunslinging bandits, Native American ambushes, and sharpshooting cowboys running rampant throughout the towns. In reality, most towns were pretty peaceful. In fact, some historians even contend that the Wild West was a far more civilized, more peaceful and safer place than American society today. Even though there weren't local governments per se, there existed private organizations and clubs that helped adjudicate matters of property, theft, and crime, keeping things pretty orderly. Number two, most cowboys didn't wear cowboy hats. Contrary to what many believe, the Stetson cowboy hat was not a popular choice for many early frontiersmen of the Old West. The image of cowboys always wearing 10-gallon hats was basically a movie gimmick. In fact, the most popular and practical cowboy headwear choices were the bowler and the derby because they were less likely to fly off when you were riding horses at speed. Also, it would have been pretty unsafe to wear a massive white hat when you were really in the middle of a gun battle, seeing as it would have made a perfect massive white target for your enemies. It sure does look good, though. Number 3. The OK Corral Gunfight Didn't Take Place In the OK Corral, the O.K. Corral gunfight is probably the most famous shootout in Wild West history. However, the truth behind the infamous fight is that it didn't take place in the O.K. Corral at all and was instead carried out in the definitely less glamorous vacant lot behind it. The entire fight lasted only a mere 30 seconds. However, those 30 seconds were enough for numerous deaths and wounds to be inflicted. Number 4. Playing cards was not just a pastime. Obviously, card playing can quickly become a matter of life and death in lots of Western movies. However, in the Old West, not every Tom, Dick, or Harry would have been involved in big-time card games because gambling card games were an even bigger deal than they are portrayed as being. In fact, they were considered a serious profession with the best players being initiated as professional sportsmen. In addition, numerous gambling halls, brothels, and saloons were dedicated to hosting competitive card games and professional competitions rather than happenstance throwdowns between OG sharks and table newbies. Number 5. There might have been more wild camels than horses. In 1855, the southern United States was home to hundreds of feral camels. Originally, 75 beasts were bought from Egypt to be used for army surveys. They were stationed in central Texas to be used as beasts of burden for army encampments there, which they were for a while. However, several camels managed to escape and began roaming and breeding freely in the wild. The legendary Red Ghost of Arizona was one of these feral camels. Number 6. Not all cowboys were white men. In classic Western films, cowboys are overwhelmingly white. However, the Wild West actually had its fair share of multicultural ethnicities. In fact, the Lone Ranger's character is rumored to have been inspired by a black United States Marshal named Bass Reeves. In addition, the first known group of Western cowboys were actually Mexican ranchers called vaqueros and Spanish gentlemen called caballeros. Both were skilled in cattle driving and horse riding traditions, 
Moreover, not all outlaws that ruled the West were even men. Some ladies occupied the significant role of being an outlaw. These frightful women committed various highly punishable crimes such as robberies, firearm assaults, and murders. Number 7. Native Americans and settlers weren't constantly fighting. While there were certainly some occurrences of fighting between Native Americans and Western settlers over territory, the cinema would lead people to believe that cowboys and Indians were constantly at war with each other. In truth, there are as many instances of tolerance and cohabitation as there are of animosity between cowboys and the Native American population. Native Americans actually made good business with the settlers, often trading goods and providing guiding services. Number 8. Not everyone carried a gun. It was true that many ranchers and early settlers owned a gun or rifle, but not everyone in the Old West carried a firearm around wherever they went. Gun laws were strict in western towns, and people were often prohibited from carrying a piece within the city limits. By law, carrying a gun was unlawful and punishable in Tombstone. Number 9. Prostitutes didn't live in poverty. While the life of a prostitute was not always an easy or honorable one for women in the Old West, it earned them extremely high wages, special freedoms, and comfortable living arrangements. Madams of brothels were some of the freest, most educated, and wealthiest women in that era. They also took good care of their working girls, even hiring police officers to protect them. Number 10. Bank robberies. Weren't that common. In the movies, audiences often see a posse of Wild West bandits rushing into a bank with their guns drawn while loading sacks of money, eventually fleeing the scene on horseback. However, in real life, bank robberies in the Old West weren't that common with an estimate of only three or four robberies across 15 states within a 40-year time span. Number 11. The Pony Express wasn't successful. It's a romantic image. A rider atop a horse, galloping full speed to deliver mail to the far-flung outposts of the American West. While the Pony Express captured the popular imagination, it wasn't a huge success. In fact, the company only operated for 19 months from 1860-1861. During that time, men were tasked with shuttling messages as fast as possible along a 2,000-mile route. The small, lightweight riders switched horses every 10-15 miles and changed riders every 75-100 miles. It was a speedy method, but a costly one. The company lost an estimated $200,000 over its brief operating time, a staggering sum for the era.